Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, through the Kenya Forest Service, the government has handed over 60,000 hectares of Mau Forest land for a foreign company for a key project. <laughs> there is a Netherlands-based company by the name IHD. That key project for the 60 hectares of land is all about conservation. Now, I look at this. A company, you know, a company. Companies are here to make profits. But now this is a company that is taking over Mau Forest for conservation. I just, it is laughable, by the way. Now, 60,000 hectares is close to 148,000 acres, if you put an acreage. That's huge. That is massive. This is a nuclear forest. It's a nuclear land. So, at one time, when Atwali said that, sorry for that, when Atwali suggested that if Ruto become the president, he's going to carry the Central Bank of Kenya to Sugoi. Maybe some people are not doing a proper interpretation. The interpretation is now here. It was all about looting this country completely. Now, we are handing over our forest to foreigners and they are letting to come and restore conservation. Really? Is there anything for free? There is no way whereby a foreign company will come here and take charge of a nuclear land in a forest. More than 148,000 acres just for this conservation. No. So Ruto is handing over our forest. That, that is our natural resources. No wonder, just the other time, we saw the Ogek community being evicted and chased away by the so-called God-chosen president. These people, they live in forest and they, there is a natural way they conserve forest. There is no destruction in the forest. Wameishi na wanyama kwa msitu na wandege. Lakini tujaona hizi forest zikikuwa zinaharibiwa na hawa. But they were chased away because they wanted to hand over this land or forest to foreigner. So a foreigner is more important than a local person who has stayed in this forest and the government is refusing to hand over that piece of land which was gazetted to these people. So it was all about privatization. So many things have been listed for privatization. The question is, are we privatizing our forest now? As we continue this panel discussion, just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, look on what is happening in this country. If Ruto is going to serve for five years, are we going to remain with anything that we are going to celebrate or we are going to something that we, we, we are going to, 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 to own? Are we going to own anything in terms of ownership? Is there anything that is going to remain for Kenyans to proudly, proudly associate with us, uh, our heritage? Forest is a natural resource. You talk about the other story where the first lady 
was given some land in Kakamega Forest for conservation. What happened? Later, we saw the residents from Likuyani, which is in Kakamega County, complaining about individuals coming from Rift Valley. We are talking about the home county of William Ruto, Wasingishu County. They come and uh, allocate land for themselves in the very forest. Then there was another area where they are giving trees to people to cut down. Iyo inikuja kufanyika baada ya first lady being given was this 200, 200 acres of Kakamega Forest for conservation. Hasa inikuja kufanya destruction ama conservation or handing over to Kalenji Nation what belongs to the people of Kenya. It's not even a Kalenji Nation. Few individuals just few individuals. So, ata hii nye tunambio ya kwamba, they are handing over this 60 hectares of land to another land based company for conservation. It is something else. Kabla tufungue macho na masikio na akili, tujue kile kinafanyika, there will be no more mau forest. And imagine, they are going to do so for quite long time. Utapata wameandika pale, nimeona wameandika miaka sita. Hiyo miaka sita uenda itabadiliki kuwe miaka amsili. Mau forest will not be in our hands. We will have no any control. Anything that you give to a private company, that means you are restricting residents from that property. So imagine mukona property, which is a natural resource, that you cannot access just because a private company has been handed over. Ini conservation gani yenye wanataka wafanye, yenye wa Kenya wangeweza kufanya hii? Those are the questions Kenyans are asking. Hao watu wanakuja kumaliza huu msitu, wanajificha kwa mpango ya kusema they are coming to uh, to, to restore the, the forest, to conserve the forest. But the real plan here is all about what they are going to get. Companies have interest. What is their interest in the Mau forest? What are they going to get? Because they are not here to make profit. There is no one who starts a company with a plan to make losses. Hamwezi sema tumunakuja kufenz Mau forest as a company just because you are conserving the nature without any profit you are anticipating to get. Hey, <laughs> Mambo ya meharibika We are in a huge problem This leadership They are going to sell everything From parastatals To our natural resources To our forest Soon ata kwako kutauzwa So imagine the handover Is taking place Wamepeana tiari Huenda wanakuja kuchipa madini kwa huo msitu na hawataki watu wajua na tulanganya wanakuja kufence. Tena wanampango ya kuja kukata miti muhimu ya Kenya hii katika mau forest. Which is very expensive outside the market. Ukienda kwa market, they're so much expensive. We have some trees that you cannot just go in the forest and cut. Ata wako nyumbani ukipanda yu miti. Uwezi kata tulazimu pate permit. Kuna miti ya ina hiyo. Lakini handing over such chunk of forest land to these people. Utajua ni nini wanafanya huko ndani? Now they are the one in charge of operations. Wanakuja kuiba paka na wanyama wetu. Wanakuja kuiba. But there is individuals who are going to benefit here. The benefit is going to go into individuals for pockets. My simple question, where was public participation for the people in a, within this forest? We talk about the the Ogech community. While we are talking about the county, we are talking neighboring counties. Is it Kajado or what? Narok, Bomet. 
Ni siku gani wamekuja kuwauliza maswali that can we hand over because this is now our constitution. When did they conduct public participation to ask questions if the to hear the views from the community? Ni nini? Ni nini bwana? Hii mambo ijafanyika. Hii ni ukora, ni wizi na wakenya wajipange kuona vile Ruto atakuwa ana Beba Central Bank akipeleka sugoi. Central Bank meant a lot and this is one of the reasons why I told you was talking about kubeba central bank kwa mgongo mpaka sugoi now 60000 hectares of mau forest is not under our control but in the hands of private individuals from netherland this is a company i don't know if this is the, if, this, if this is a company that was started to uh, was started to make losses you cannot spend your money in mau forest without a way in which you are going to recover your money and at that time even make profit sijui labda hii ndio ya kwanza wale wanaofanya mambo ya business studies business na accounts na mambo ya economics mtuambie i don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video